Hey guys, so today I am going to be trying three flavors of weird or unusual potato chips or weird and unusual potato chip flavors. So I'm kind of obsessed with um, different odd or unusual flavors of potato chips. So I, upon seeing these four flavors, decided to pick them up so I could try them. And I thought it would be fun to reaction try them on um, video for you guys. So the first one is um, by Utz. For those of you that are not from the East Coast, um, Utz is a local um, potato chip brand to Maryland um, and Pennsylvania-ish areas, um, but I'm pretty sure it was created in Maryland. Um, they put out a line of chips this year called Grillin' Classics for the summer, and there was a hamburger flavor, a hot dog flavor, and a sweet corn flavor. Now, having had hamburger and hot dog flavor chips before, um, I wasn't in a rush to buy those. I did try them um, at my boyfriend's house and they were pretty good, uh, but nothing super unusual because I have had them before um, from different companies. But when I saw sweet corn, I was like, how are they going to do that? I have to try these. So, I picked up a bag. So this is the Utz Classics Sweet Corn Potato Chips. Um, these I have actually already tried because I got these separately. Um, but I'm still going to try them on camera with you guys because I really like them. So, without further ado, here's what they look like. They kind of look like regular potato chips, but you can see the flecks of pepper in them. And they're a little yellower than regular potato chips. I love these. They're so good. So, you get that buttery taste and also a peppery taste, but you can still taste the corn, which is kind of crazy. So, I was really curious about how they did that with the potato chip. It's not like it's a corn chip. And so, I was reading the ingredients, and apparently, there actually is dried sweet corn in them. Um, so, like corn flour, corn starch, sunflower. And then they add a smoke flavor for the grillin' flavor. It's really good. They're really good. I really like them a lot. So again, Utz Classics. Grillin' Classics. I'm pretty sure they're probably only going to be around for the summer. Um, so stack up now if you want to try them or if you already have and you like them. Um, I got mine from Target because I work there and I got a discount. Um, I had to order them online though because our store didn't have them in stock. So... Order online, still got my discount, got two bags of them, expecting them to be the little mini bags that I saw at Sheets, um, and they were the huge family size bags, so I was like, sweet, I only ended up paying like $6 for both bags, it's pretty good. Okay, um, so the next three chip flavors that I have are from, uh, um, from Lay's latest rounds of Do Us A Flavor, the flavor contest that they let their, um customers do so you guys re might remember that this contest brought us such flavors as uh, truffle fries chicken and waffles biscuits and gravy I forget some of the other ones that they had the past couple of years but those are the, the flavors that I remember the most but they do this like every year I believe so this year the contenders are crispy taco fried green tomato, and everything bagel. So, the crispy taco bag um, is the regular Lay's. And so, this says that this was um, invented by, or suggested by um, Ellen Sarum in Texas. My fiance loves crunchy beef tacos more than anything. I actually made it for one of our first dates, and after three years, I can now finally say I've mastered cooking his favorite dish cool. Alright, so let's try these. I've already opened all the bags so that I can have both hands when I'm trying them for you guys. So let's get a big one out of here. A decent size one. Okay. So as you can see, they kind of look like barbecue chips. You can easily see the seasoning on them. Oh my god. That's like biting into a taco. Wow. I knew this one would be done well 
and very flavorful because it's pretty easy to emulate taco flavors, um, taco spices. It's a lot of cumin, chili powder, things like that. Um, so I knew this one would be done well. I'm probably not going to continue like buying these all the time just because I'm not a huge fan of taco seasoning. Um, I'm a wimp when it comes to spice. But these aren't overly spicy either though. Um, on the bag, it literally says ingredients, crispy taco seasoning, which includes salt, spice, onion powder, tomato powder, garlic powder, sugar, yeast extract, cheddar cheese, whey, sour cream, buttermilk, paprika, yeast, stuff like that. So, yeah, these are pretty good. I like these. Um, I probably won't continue to buy them, but I'll definitely finish the bag. All right, next we have the kettle chip variety, the kettle cooked variety, which is the everything bagel with cream cheese. I love cream cheese on everything, so hopefully these have a little bit of the flavor of the cream cheese in them. So this one was suggested by Lin Lindsay Hoffman in Palm City, Florida. There's no better way to start your day than with an everything bagel with cream cheese. It's become my favorite morning ritual. So let's try one of these. So this is a kettle chip, so that's going to explain the texture difference, but they kind of just look like regular chips, except you can see a hint or two of, like, spice on them. Hmm. Very underwhelming, but good. Like, I was kind of hoping it wasn't like a slam in the face Here's some garlic and onion and sesame and poppy seed. Um, but it's good. I really like these. I wouldn't bite into it and say, oh my god, everything bagel. But I would bite into it and say, these are good. Let me have some more of these. So apparently the ingredients in this one. Um, cream cheese. Cheese cultures. Salt. Poppy seed. Onion powder garlic powder and natural flavors so yeah I will definitely eat these again and I might buy them again they're really good all right finally the wavy chip variety which is let me fix the bag here the fried green tomato flavor and this was suggested by Greg Pope in Charlotte North Carolina fried green tomatoes remind me of my childhood in Georgia Fried to a golden brown, salted, and pepper. They were always a perfect feel-good food. Prepped by dad for our family dinners. Alright. I'm excited to have take these over to my boyfriend's father and mother. Um, because his dad makes fried green tomatoes from their garden. And um, maybe he'll like these. So I'm hoping he does. I'm hoping I do. I've actually never had a fried green tomato <laughs> yet. Because um, last time I made them, I wasn't there for dinner. Um, so hopefully soon I'll get to try them, but hopefully I like these and hopefully they're like the actual food. So we'll see. These are the wavy variety. So let's take a look. Oh my God, this is a big one. I'm going to have to bite it probably in half. Um, let me get this to focus. There we go. Okay. So you can see it's got some, some tomato-y coloring and also some spices. Wow. <laughs> okay. That's good. <laughs> okay, so you know how you can have tomato flavored things? Like ketchup. Or like when you have pizza flavored Pringles. And they have that like tomato-y powdery flavor. Well, that's what I thought these would have. But they literally have... They somehow captured that, like, fresh tomato taste. So they literally taste like fresh tomato, not, like, tomato flavoring. Which I don't know how they did that, but it's pretty cool. Let's see if the ingredients can give us a clue. Uh, buttermilk, tomato powder, onion powder, brown sugar, spices, yeast extract, garlic powder, caramel color, mustard, vinegar, paprika extracts. I don't know, there's really no, like, well, I mean, they have 
just the generalized spices. So they might have that like as a secret ingredient type thing of how they can do that. But these are really good. Like I've never actually had a fried green tomato so I can't speak on how close they are to the real thing. But they really taste good to me. They have that fresh tomato flavor in addition to the spices which is really good. That's surprising. <laughs> okay. Guys, so... I look forward to seeing your own reaction videos to some weird flavored chips because I think it's a really fun thing to do. And if you find some that I haven't seen, I would love to see your reactions to them and then possibly buy them for myself. So... Definitely do that if you see any weird flavor chips around your area. Let me know or post your own video. I would love to see it. And until next time, guys. Bye.